Hello once again. Now, if you're looking for the reservoir for the power steering fluid and you can't find it, chances are you don't have hydraulic uh, pressure pump. You have an electric pump. So these Toyotas, these Hondas, they're into now electric power steering, as electronic power steering. Now, if I zoom out, you see the things that are involved. A couple of things have to be involved. First of all, the combination meter to tell you what's going on, right? When you're turning the, the steering wheel to the right, to turn right, when you're turning the steering wheel to left, to turn left, obviously, you know that sensors are involved. There's always, and if, there's, if there's electronics, there's a computer involved, a module. If there's electronics, there's a sensor involved. And so be it, and so we have. There's a steering sensor top of steering column. Now, when you turn the steering wheel, you're changing the angle of, of, of the steering wheel. If you're changing it to the right, if you're going to the right to make a right turn, think about it. You're going more positive. So the degrees will change positive. 30, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, whatever. If you're going to left to make a left turn, what do you think the degrees will be in? If it was positive on this side, what should it be on the other side? Negative. So it's going to go negative. That's how this steering sensor knows what the driver wants, what his request is. I want to make a right turn plus 50 or whatever, plus 60 degrees, whatever the degrees is, whatever. Now you see another thing over here, computer data lines. Remember I told you that computers are talking to each other. The computer data lines is sending information to this module. And it's sending information to the computer data lines to this combination meter to tell you on the display what's going on, the driver. Now, a <clears throat> couple of things before we get to this. Since it is electronic power steering, there has to be a motor involved, a motor that goes and turns the rack, just like a rack and pinion with hydraulic uh, fluid. There has to be a motor now, electronic motor, to turn the rack either for the right uh, wheels or for the left wheels, obviously. How much to turn it, we say by the power steering angle requested by the driver how much is being turned we have torque sensors telling the computer and this is a mo another module power steering ECU remember we told you it's another module this is the module right here this is not part of the module this is a, the assembly itself this is the torque sensor on the power steering motor assembly so you this is just the connections going to this ECU and this is just the connections going from the torque sen sensors, giving this information, what's going on, how much the motor is turning the rack, how much the torque. Torque is a twisting force. Sometimes you need more torque, sometimes you need less torque, right? What I mean by torque, <clears throat> let's say trying to get the cap of a bottle off, right? And it's tight, right? Your torque, your twisting force has to be stronger. But let's say you have to take that cap off from a bottle and it's already was loosened before right so now it's easier to take off the cap you need less torque less twisting force that twisting force that torque is what it what turns the axles to your to your wheels to turn your wheels that torque so when that motor turns that electronic motor turns the torque sensor senses the torque right next to the motor how much is being accomplished by that it gives that information to this ECU. It gives that information to the computer lines over here. See the computer lines? See this torque sensor? Giving this. And it's telling, in, in return, it's telling the, com the computer's telling it, either we have to turn the, the motor more or less. And probably that's done by more current or less current. Because it's electronics. So we're taking... Mecha uh, electronic force electrical force converting it to a mechanical force before it was hydraulic pressure fluid to mechanical now we're dealing with throwing in a motor so basically we the driver turns the turns the wheel turns the wheel 
he's turning, he's giving information to the sensor how much he wants to turn the wheel. If you put a scanner in, you'll actually see right and left, you'll see the degrees, how much you turn, and it should turn. So let's say he wants 40 degrees, that means he wants a little turn, to the right turn. Computer lines tell this one what to do. The motor starts activating, <clears throat> right? Motor starts activating, torque sensors are sensing the revolutions and the motor and seeing how much it needs. Does it need more? Does it need less? That information is given back to the computer. Do we need to spin the motor more or less to accomplish what that steering wheel turn to the right turn? So basically the torque sensor lines are these lines. There could be two torque sensors, multiple, multiple torque sensors, doesn't matter. And this is, this is what's going on over here. This power steering is controlling the, the motor. Controlling the motor rotations and spins. So this ECU is very important. It controls this. It gets information from the sensor. It gets information from this two sensors. So if you're turning, right, and you don't get what you want to get, could be the sensor, obviously, is not picking it up. Could be this. Could be the motor, maybe. Or could be the ECU. Remember, everything is computerized. So this is just a quick... A quick, quick summary of what's going on. Now, we all we need 12 volts we need to it. We need 12 volts to it. And this is the 12 volts that you get. But remember one thing. The computer lines is always talking to each other, telling them what's going on. That's why I put this one A and this one A. They're, to, they're talking to each other. Whenever you turn the wheel, right or left, he's, he's telling him what's going on. They activate the motor. They activate the rack. Either to go right or left to turn your wheels. Anyway, please go to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto, and my other one, Automotive Electronic Schematics for Joseph.